previously on One Life to Live. If you care for Antonio and you want him to know, you have to let him know. Al really believes that the only way he's going to walk again is if you're by his side. How do you think Blair's going to feel when she realizes that the baby you told her was dead was very much alive? I got the preliminary results of your blood test. I'm afraid it's not good news. Bo, isn't this place romantic? We're gonna have a wonderful time, isn't it? Hello, Max. Nice to see you. Oh, she's here. Huh? Why is she everywhere? I don't you know. RJ didn't say that she was going to be here. What else didn't RJ tell you? What are we doing here, anyway? Well, he told me that we were going to be his VIP guests. But you know what? You can't really do much celebrating if she's wandering around here. Well, we should have stayed home. Oh, look, there's Max. Yeah. And Bo. I'm out of here. No, 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 no. Hey. We don't have to see any of these people. It's Valentine's Day. You just look at me, and I'll just look at you. Deal? That's right, Max. My new oncoming job is really full of pressure and quite a lot of stress, actually. But that's why Bo implored me not to move out. Friends are very supportive that way. Of course, you wouldn't know anything about that, would you, Max? I think I might have been too hard on him. Oh, I think maybe you were being just a little bit too obvious. Um, I don't like being used to make Max jealous. Yeah, I know, I know. You always see through me. But hey, I picked the right candidate, didn't I? Mm -hmm. The most sought-after bachelor in this town. You. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's me, all right. That's why I have to carry a stick, just to keep them all back, you know? <laughs> Tell me, how did it happen, though? How did you find yourself all alone on Valentine's night? Quite alone? No, look, I thought I was with you. Uh-huh. You know what I mean. You brought me here tonight because I asked you to bring me. Why don't you tell me about all the times you've loved and lost? Oh, but no. Maybe I can give you some advice. Gabrielle, we would both be old and gray by the time I finish that story. So why don't I just get us a little champagne? Never did tell me who your new so-called employer is. Excuse me. Todd, I've been thinking. I think I'm going to dedicate the entire style page to tonight's party. What do you think about that? Blair, did, did you just hear something? No, I didn't. Must be one of those figment things. Hmm, it must be. Todd hired you? Todd? Carrie. Yes, yeah, your father. Uh, where are you? I thought I would have you here with me at the opening of Capricorn, but, uh, well, uh, I hope nothing's wrong. Come on, Gabrielle. There must be some ulterior motive. Todd Manning would never hire you. Ah, oh, have you know that I was hired because of my exquisite sense of taste and style. Oh. Excuse me, my photographer's here. Evening, Miss Medina. Uh, Any particular shots you want tonight? Oh. Yes. Ah. Uh, well, it's really quite appalling what passes for a sense of fashion and style in this hopeless little town, isn't it? But I've got it. We'll do a best and worst dress list. Okay. Uh, who's best dressed? Well, I am, of course. <laughs> And who's worse dressed? Oh, let's see. That's quite a competition around here, isn't it? Oh, Blair! Can we take your picture? Well, we can do better than that. Oh, Renee! Come, Jim, you must get a full length of this outfit. Renee, this is quite unique for you. Go on. Jump up, dear.
hired Gabrielle. Wow, well, I wouldn't wish her on my worst enemy. Then again, you are my worst enemy, so my condolences. Come on, darling. There's another one over here. Hi, Renee. <laughs> How's um, Ace's community service going? Going, 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 gone. And I couldn't be more relieved. Hmm. Todd, I need a word. That's what word I have in my mind. Mm -mm, I'm here. I think that your style section is far too small. I think it needs to be expanded to say to about six pages long. Think of all the ads you'll get. See, all I can think about is extra pages means an extra amount of money. So, no. Uh, 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 uh. I can drop that bombshell on Blair any time I wish. Yeah. Then what bombshell would that be? You know, you never did explain to me why Manning hired you. Could it be because you're blackmailing him? Me? Mm -hmm. Blackmailing? Is that honestly what you thought? It's crossed my mind. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, when I said bombshell, what I meant by that was that Todd has a Valentine's gift for Blair. I'm the one that picked it out. Uh-huh. Oh, that reminds me. I just remembered I really want to speak to my son before it gets too late. Would you excuse me? Sure. Al? Yes, Al. Sounded pretty down in the dumps. Hmm. Good old Jennifer left him stranded at some party somewhere. She breaks his heart, Max. As long as Al can't walk, and we've got to assume that will be forever, Jen will stick with it. Gabrielle, they're playing our song. You want to struggle? Well, if I'm being invited to dance by the best dancer in Pennsylvania... No, okay, come, come on, Linda, let's just... Come. Hello, Todd. I just spoke to my son, and I just realized that he may never dance again. Behold the way our fine feathered friend his virtue doth parade. Thou knowest not, my dim witted friend, the picture thou hast made. Thy vacant brow and thy tall gold hair Conceal thy good intent Thy noble, upright, truthful, sincere And slightly dopey gent You're my funny valentine Okay. 